All right. Hello, Facebook. What is up? How is everybody doing? You are here live for another segment of Coach's Corner with me, Liberty Santiago. I am a certified Bob Proctor business consultant and mindset trainer and a manifestation coach. And I am super excited to have Victoria Padmore on our Coach's Corner episode today. And I'm going to go ahead and let her introduce herself. And we are going to have a soulful, intuitive conversation that is going to leave all of you guys super excited and inspired. Take it away, Victoria. Fabulous. Well, thank you so much for having me in your coach's corner. Um, it's something that I watch a lot. So I'm, I'm really excited to be here, actually. And thank you to everyone watching. Um, and as Liberty said, I hope that we can inspire you over this chat. So I am Victoria Padmore. You may hear that I am from the UK, so I'm actually in England. Um, and I have founded a charity called More To Her Life. And the charity supports women who've experienced domestic abuse. So the whole feel of the charity is to let these women know that their life can be incredible after experiencing abuse. So that's what the charity is about. And I do this in partnership with fabulous businesses and amazing inspirational people who want to join with me and have that impact. Yes, I love that. Um, recently, you had a charity, uh, like a donation. Uh, why don't you tell us about the most recent donation that you have put together? Okay, so the campaign was our Christmas campaign, um, which you donated to. So I massively appreciate your support in that. Um, and you were great in supporting me all the way through it. So thank you. Uh, but the Christmas campaign was all about letting these women create the Christmas that they wanted to create. So I can tell you about how it all came about and how the how it was all structured. Because um, I like that. I like to know how things happened, like the beginnings of, of how, how it all grew. Um, so I was speaking to a refuge, so a refuge in the UK that women go and live in with their children um, when they're fleeing abuse. And I was asking them what happens at Christmas. So what you know what is their Christmas like because obviously they've got this whole new world now so what do we do for them at Christmas and the answer was that a lot of local people a lot of local businesses are so generous and they're so grateful and they donate a lot of presents especially for the children so they donate these presents and they're beautifully wrapped um, and they could be on Instagram. They're that kind of big bow, those kind of things. And the women pass these on to their children um, and that's how they have their Christmas day. So sounds perfect. Mm -hmm. But one year, the women actually asked the caseworkers if they could have just the presents and a roll of wrapping paper. And the reason they asked this is because they wanted to wrap their own presents. Mm. They wanted to be involved in that gift giving. And I think it's something we all take for granted that, that we get to be involved in that magical build up to Christmas. Um, mm. And they wanted yeah, to be emotionally attached to what they're giving to their children. Mm -hmm. and this hit me quite hard. Um, I was mm. you know, wondering how we can help with that and how we can make it even more magical for them. And really what these women were saying was they wanted to be involved. They felt detached um, and they couldn't enjoy the Christmas experience the way that we get to. So what we did was we rolled it back a bit and we said, if they want to wrap them, let's let them buy them. Let them choose their own gifts for their children. Mm. So we actually fundraised and we fundraised to give them vouchers. Mm -hmm. And vouchers to me equals choice. Mm -hmm. It means that they can go out and they can choose what their children have. Um, and we also gave them vouchers for themselves so that oh. they could choose something that they wanted for Christmas. So it just shifted the feeling of Christmas for these women. There were 14 women in the refuge um, mm -hmm. and we raised just over £2,000, which is about $2,800 um, that we shared between these women. So it had a massive impact for them. They felt on Christmas Day that when their child was getting excited, they created that 
So mm. they were the ones who made that magic happen. And it just gives them that bit of confidence that they can do this. They can build a life away from abuse. And they have the, the power to be able to create that life for them and their children. So that was the Christmas campaign that was so wonderful, so emotional. Um, <laughs> all the emotions sort of all together is how we, we did that. That is a beautiful, beautiful story and really gave me chills, um, you know, talking about just even the women wrapping the presents was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even think of that. I wouldn't have even guessed, but yeah, it definitely gives them a, so much more participation, um, gives them that value. I love that. And really it does make me think about, you know, my last Christmas too, that I had the, that was a privilege to give my children gifts, Absolutely. you know, it puts it into perspective. And although I personally have been in a place where I didn't have um, a lot of money to give my kids a lot of things, but those one things that I got them, it was like so impactful. And yeah, to be able to put like the bike under the Christmas tree and all that stuff, it's like we take for granted and we just go about the motions, not even considering that people don't even get the option to do that because of certain situations like this too. So yeah, it's like anything in our lives that the small things like that, that actually are really huge things in our lives. We see them as luxuries and we see them as just those added bits. And until they're taken away or until we think about them being taken away, we don't put so much value on them so wrapping the night before wrapping Christmas presents is something I kind of do while I'm watching a film and I'm switched off I don't really think about what's happening mm -hmm. um, but it's the same we're all like that with everything in life that until it's mm -hmm. taken away or or we see someone else without it we forget the value of, of what we all have and what we can do with our lives I'm sure that was impactful for you to wrap Christmas presents this year Oh my gosh. The, it, it was so um, emotional. <laughs> <laughs> it was so when I was going through the fundraising, it was fabulous. And there was so there were 65 women donated to this campaign. Wow. So for me, it was sisterhood. We all came together, we all donated, and it was lovely, and there were all the lovely feelings. It then got to the point that I had to deliver this project. And I hadn't prepared myself. I'm going to be really honest with everyone. I hadn't prepared myself for how much it would hit me. Um, when I was, so what I did with the vouchers is I, I divvied them up. So I divided them all up with all these women and I wrote them all a Christmas card. And so I asked the, the people at the refuge, can you tell me, you know, what the family's makeup are? So a mum with one child, a mum with two child. And I got the list. And I cried, I absolutely cried because you've got woman one, daughter age 12, woman two, baby age six months, child age three. And I sat there and I thought, how can I write a Christmas card to these women? I know part of what they're going through and I really connected again to it. Um, and it brought it all home massively. And like you say, this Christmas, when I wrapped my presents and when I gave them to my children, it took on a whole different dimension for me. Mm. But that process of writing cards to a mother with a 12 year old daughter or a mother with children my age, my children's age, mm -hmm. it was really tough. It really was. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm so happy with the impact that we had. That is so beautiful. That's so great. Um, well, why don't we take it back a notch and why don't you give us some perspective as to where this idea from the More to Her Life Foundation came from? Why would you take on this endeavor? I ask myself that sometimes because <laughs> when it's a lot, there's a lot of emotion. I do kind of have to pull back to my why. And I think we all do that when you're in business as well. Those hard days, you have to pull back to your why. Why did you want to start this? So I myself, um, I have a past of abusive relationships. And what I found in my circumstance is that I had a string of abusive relationships. So it wasn't just that one. It was once I got out of one, I was straight back into another. And so although I left him, I didn't leave that style of relationship. I, it was just 
a different guy it was the same relationship in that kind of way and it took for me to really stop and design a future that I wanted Mm -hmm. and actually start to dream again Mm -hmm. so this is something that women find so difficult is when they come out of that abusive relationship is knowing what what now like what is my life going to be like and I know my personal experience that is what changed everything for me Mm. is actually having an image of that life that I want that I desire and that I deserved so that's the turning point for me was was having that image and then anyone who tried to approach and join my life had to fit that you know Mm. I wasn't just gonna mold my life around them they had to now fit into my idea and my dream um and I found an amazing man and I'm married we've been married we've been together 11 years we've married eight of those years um got two beautiful children And it got to the point that I used to sit back and look at my life and think the past felt like a film I once watched. It wasn't really what had happened to me. It was, I was so detached from it because of how grateful I am for what I have now. Mm -hmm. So I don't take what I have for granted at all. I'm so grateful. And my heart was desperate to show other women this path. Mm. so that's how the charity started is it's my desire to help as many women as I can be who I am now (laughs) in an emotional way and um in a gratitude way and feeling that you know they have turned their life around and I need them to know how amazing that feeling is Mm -hmm. so that's where the whole idea came from that was the heart of it um and the way we do it is we give these people glimpses of how good their life can be Mm -hmm. because we all need to physically, instead of being told things, I know that there's some amazing women who share their story and that's so impactful until you feel it for yourself. It's never quite real. It's happened to someone else. It's someone else's experience. Mm -hmm. So the experiences and the gifts that we deliver is to physically show these women the life they could live and how that feels. So they, they get that feeling and they can hold on to that while they go through this difficult transition period. So that's where it all sort of came from. I love that. It's so good. And, you know, being a mindset trainer, it brings me to the thought that our minds think in pictures and so, and experiences. So if we can help them imagine again, that it's for them, that it's happening to them then we can help them connect their neurological pathway to the idea that, yeah, this is, this is in the future and this is for me and this is what I want. Because like you said, the repeated cycles of the relationships, I mean, you're speaking to a lot of people right now. You're speaking to um, more people than probably want to even admit. And nobody has to raise their hand or say that was them, but what what the theme is is until you're really ready to break that cycle you're even if you get away there's no getting away from that pattern and it'll show up in some other way and in some other man and i know because i've been through the same thing myself and i'm just over here going oh my gosh this is so like this is impacting me so i can only imagine how many people it's impacting and it does, it makes me want, it makes me think like, okay, what can I do to be a part of somebody's life altering moment, altering yeah. their life to a positive? Um, it makes me emotional, of course, because I was that one person that one time. And, you know, gosh, if somebody could just come and give me a hug and, you know, tell me it was going to be okay. Yeah, that's great. But you know, providing that extra experience that more to her life does it like it really sends off lots of inspiration to me to want to be involved even more. So, but could you imagine at that point there, I don't want to upset you anymore, but at that point there, if someone had shown you a flash of your day today, just today, today's not a remarkable day, but Mm. if they could have shown you a flash of how your life was going to be, how powerful would that be? You would grip oh. onto that and you'd hold on to it. 
um, and it would help you, wouldn't it, through that transition. So we did another, it just reminds me of another experience we delivered. Um, there was a mother and a teenage son who had moved from one side of the country to the other to avoid abuse. Um, and they were living in a refuge and they were now living in a one bedroom, just the two of them. And they mm. were really struggling because obviously this teenage son had been taken away from his life and moved and he was hating it. Mm. And then you've got the mother feeling guilty that she's done this to her son. Now, obviously we all know she hasn't done this to her son, but that was her emotion. And they found out that the town they were living in now was opening this massive water park. So, you know, all the, the big flumes and the waves and, and a fabulous day. And they wanted to go, but they couldn't afford it because mm. they, they had nothing anymore. And the charity, the refuge can't afford those things like that. So more to her life sent them both for the day. They paid for them to go to the water park and we sent them there. And the response that we got, this woman wrote to me afterwards. Mm -hmm. And she said that previously, any day like this, any day that they'd gone out and tried to have fun had been ruined by her partner. Mm -hmm. And she could never enjoy the day because she was waiting for it to go wrong. So she was never involved. She was never relaxed. Um, and this day, she said she watched her son belly laugh and that just that hit me she mm -hmm. watched her son have an amazing day and she got to enjoy it so she said she's never had so much fun with her son and because of that they're going to fight through and they're not going to return to abuse because okay. we gave them that flash of that day like imagine if this is every day of your life right and that's the power of actually doing an experience um yeah. rather than just talking to them about it so just yeah what you were saying then immediately brought that woman to yeah. my mind that she got that flash of of how her life can be yeah it's so true and I definitely put myself in the that shoes it's like you know you're you feel guilty for leaving and then yeah. you're like left into this one bedroom place and I even had a studio after I left one of my relationships I had a studio and there was nowhere for the kids to sleep um and they didn't get to sleep with me at the time um, they were with their dad, but anyways, I felt so guilty because I didn't have things for them to do. And it was like, I went from a whole different lifestyle to having like practically nothing, you know, and coloring with them with markers and thinking, oh, I just, I can't wait for the day that I can have a house and not feel guilty. And I can sit on my couch and they can play in the backyard and make a mess. And, you know, they can just be a kid and me not have to sit here and feel this way. So that was my driving moment. And I did, I visualized the house I visualized yeah. them going in that direction. And it was my belief that, you know, it wasn't going to be like that anymore. So very impactful to create that experience. So um, I want to know from you, what is more for her life going to do next? Because <laughs> you have some really great ideas and you're yeah. creating a lot of impact. Yeah. So 2021 is now all about, we actually, the charity only got founded in mid-November. So I talk as though we've been around for a long time. We've just done a lot in a short amount of time. And it's because I have been so lucky that through setting this up, I have linked with so many incredible people that share my vision. Mm -hmm. And they're inspirational people and they're influential people mm -hmm. that get what I'm saying and get where we're going. Um, mm -hmm. Much like yourself, you value the vision and you understand it. So because of that, the way I set up 2021 is we will be delivering projects um, in collaboration with other people. Mm -hmm. So we will set up what we call empowerment partners, because mm -hmm. these are people who are they are leaders within business and mm -hmm. they want to have that impact. They want to be leaders within a charitable setting as well. They want to expand their impact. So we're actually starting, I haven't talked about this a lot. So, um, so sneak preview is we are starting something called a year of gratitude and it starts this month um, behind the scenes as we're setting everything up. And a year of gratitude is all about, we're gonna be helping um, through the year, we're looking to help a thousand women. And this is all about their mindset um, and moving them forward in their mindset. 
So it's going to be women living within the community because not everyone goes to a refuge. Like right. there's so many women who do it. I didn't go to a refuge myself. Um, I was lucky enough to, to be able to, to do my own sort of life in that way and stay within the community I lived in. Um, so we're going to be working with them and it's all going to be about understanding that there are more people out there in your life that love you, that care for you, that are positive people in your life. Because when you come out of an abusive relationship, it's very easy, especially if you're having um, counselling or anything like that. It's very easy just to stay so focused on that negative relationship and you forget about the good. I mean, we all know in any aspect of life, when we focus on the negative, it clouds everything and we can't see the good in our lives. So this is about shifting their mindset to focus on the people who are supporting them, who are amazing and that kind of way. So it's going to be vouchers again. I love a voucher. Um, what we are doing is we wanted to help them harness those positive relationships. But also a big theme of what we do is removing the feeling of charity. So removing the feeling of just getting given things. We like to add choice into what they're doing. So they get to choose someone that they can send a thank you gift to. So this elevates their relationship and they feel like they're on a more even level with this person because this person's helped them and they're able to thank them. If you've ever been in a situation where someone's helped you and you can't thank them, you lose a lot of self-worth and it's very difficult to, to have that relationship and grow that relationship. So we're going to it's all about harnessing those positive relationships for these women. So we'll let them buy them a thank you gift. And they're also going to get a gratitude journal. So we're not just going to spark it and run off. We're going to actually help them go through that year um, and really move their mindset to gratitude so that they can start to see the positives in their lives. And that will help them build the vision of these amazing lives that these women are going to have. So that's our next project that's kicking off now. Um, and there's so many more. There's so many more in the, in the, in the plans um, that are, that all are gonna have perfect partners because this one's about mindset. This one's about gratitude. So I already know who our perfect partners are for this. We're gonna have another one that focuses on the children because if you're a mum, you know that your world does revolve around your children. You know that their happiness comes first. Um, so that will be sort of another one that we're doing later in the year and they will have their perfect partners. But the partnerships are about elevating you guys to leaders and inspirational people outside of business actually in your lives being that that leading force um and being able to have the impact together because you'll be we communicate the impact so much so i'll be telling you exactly who you're helping how you're helping them how it's helped their mindset so for you guys to communicate that to your audience um it's going to be really powerful to to put you on that that charitable um, train of thought. I love that. That is so, so good. And I really do look forward to being a part of this and um, hearing about the impact and, and all these things. And uh, I don't know if I shared this with you before, but I have a nonprofit also. Um, I just am not in your position yet, which is forward motion. Like you're forward motion, you're doing it. And I look up. <laughs> I look up to you and I'm like, man, you're doing what I want to be doing. Um, and I love that you're incorporating the mindset into this piece because that's what I was missing for six years. I went through like recovery and church and all these things. And I just couldn't get my mind right. My attitude was mostly not good. Yeah. Even though I would, I would show up for myself, I'd show up and attend and you know, my life was changing up here, up here was not changing. And yeah. it, in turn, it left bitterness in my heart and it caused, you know, unnecessary delay of healing for me and my kids. So that's why I got really fused in with the idea of doing a nonprofit to um, really help. Um, my idea is to have brick and mortar places that people can come and it's like a day, it would be a day use and they could come and get services like use the spa, use the sauna. Um, and, and it would just, it'd be like micro, you know, treatments, but 
a place for the, them to hang out and just feel like, okay, I feel like a human, a valued human. And of course, I'm going to incorporate some mindset um, training in there. There will be like the educational pieces definitely in there. But that's- yeah, there's so many women I've met on this journey who have your heart and who have your desire. And I love speaking to you because I feel so aligned. Mm-hmm. Um, and they say the same thing that they want to do it one day and this is their vision and this is what they want to do. And when they get to that point as a charity, I'd love to support that for you guys. Mm-hmm. But also you want to do something. This is why I've done it in partnerships now, because a lot of people don't have the time. They they have so much impact in their own business and they need to focus on their clients. They can't split themselves. Yeah. So the partnerships that we do, there's no time involved. There's no resources involved. We do everything for you, but it's your project. Yeah. It's your project that we are delivering. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. You get to, you get to have that impact now today because that's in your heart and that's in your vision um Mm. and then when you've got the time later on uh we'll be circling right back to support you in the way that you are going to do things that's awesome that is so good you have been amazing you're the story is just so good and I just like I'm you're a treasure to me you're a treasure to all the women in your foundation that you're helping and you're a treasure to all the people that you're allowing to have be empowerment partners because you are giving them exactly what they want now, which is to be more of an impact to yep. the world. When we can change one life at a time and imagine um, that creating a ripple effect where that person that you impact their life, what are they going to do with their new mindset, right? What are they going to be able to achieve? Generational curses broken, um, how they can go out and help the cause, just adding more to the cause. I love it. Um, definitely sets my soul on fire to talk about this kind of stuff. So thank you for being here. And I know it's into your evening um, and it's important that, you know, you get your message out there. So I know that you're happy to be here, but um, you don't want to take away too much from your kids. So why don't you tell the audience, how can they get a hold of you if they want to hear more about your foundation or help connect you with powerful people who could support your foundation or if they want to be a powerful person for your foundation how do they get a hold of you so obviously we're on facebook my inbox is always open i love talking to people even if you just want to talk about anything that we talked about today um if you're in that position and you want to talk, I'm always here. But also if you want to partner with the charity, definitely drop me a line. Um, And never think that you're not a big enough person, that you don't have a big enough audience, that you're not quite there yet. Because I'm working with people on all different levels. If you Mm -hmm. have the heart to want to help, you have a platform because this is social media. Mm -hmm. If you have a, a vision, that, that what we've talked about today is something you want to be involved in, please message me and we can talk about how we can do it um, in different ways. There's loads of different ways we can partner. Also, if you want to jump onto our website, it's moretoherlife.co.uk and you can see on there our impact studies. So it talks about all the work we're doing um, and that will be updated regularly. You can see some quotes from women, um, especially the Christmas campaign as to what they did with their vouchers, which is quite exciting um and there's a contact form on there so you can always contact me on that as well uh but yeah inbox is always open i'm i never mind getting messages from people wanting to talk about the vision oh that's so good thank you for your um your heart and your mission and your dedication to deliver and to execute on this idea that you had And I just think it's beautiful and amazing. So we're signing off for Coach's Corner. You guys, thanks for tuning in. And again, show Victoria Padmore and more for her Life Foundation some extreme love. Give them your energy. Thanks, guys.